a lot of people obviously know about Microsoft's Kinect, which has caused quite a splash, especially over the holiday season. But not too many people know the small company behind the success of the Kinect, which is PrimeSense, an Israeli company which uh, has created the optical sensor. We're here with uh, Shlomo at CES 2011 to talk a little bit about PrimeSense and uh, what's going on with the company. Shlomo? Uh, hey, so basically, yes, we're the company behind uh, the technology in Connect, and you can see right here, you can see a sample of our sensor. Basically, uh, the way it works is that we're going to transmit an IR pattern from our sensor and read it in here, which will allow us uh, to calculate this depth map, which you can see here. This is our product, this is our technology. Uh, using this depth, basically, you can do anything you want. You can do games, you can drive a user interface, you can do anything you've done on, you, anything you've seen on Connect, and anything you can see here in our demos. So, um, what do you see coming down the pipeline in, in, terms, of, in terms of what people are going to be using your, your te technology for? Is it uh, going to be destined to stay within console gaming or do you guys have other uses that you think uh, PrimeSense is going to become a big name in? I don't think it's going to stay with console gaming. I think that pretty much any uh, appliance that you're used to looking at is going to start looking back at you now and when the appliances start looking at you interesting things can happen it can be a TV, it can be an air conditioner, it can be a car, it can be anything you can think of and we just have to wait and see what will happen it's going to be very hard to predict what will happen in the next few years with this uh, technology well look what happened with webcams at first they were these expensive external accessories and now it's hard to find a laptop without a built-in webcam in it. It's hard to find, you know, even desktop monitors. They all start looking back at you. So hopefully in the next few years we're going to see the same thing with our 3D camera.